Lancashire. Some names you'll be very familiar with. Jo Joss Butler opening the batting out there. He's back from the IPL. Bill Salt, the Lancashire keeper, former Sussex man, who drives into the offside and away for four. And that just, just out of the reach of Sammy Patel. Flung himself to his right and away for four. Didn't get a fingernail on it, but on another day, Colin, that might just... Come back to that in a second, because Joss Butler's quickly taken guard. A freely bowls to him, unless he go through to... Not wicket keeper Tom Moores. Um, the uh, other BBC commentary. There is a Freedy. Comes in and bowls another leg side wide. And Tom Moores does very well to prevent it going for five leg side wides. As it was, he parried it. And they take too long to get down to the other end. And he comes in again and bowls. Eased into the offside. There's no run there. A couple of dots to finish, which means only ten came from the over. But... Um, I don't know, it's an eight ball over. Just need to cut that out of, uh, of not in and then drove to Birmingham last night and everything that in Patel from the pavilion end bowls. And this is uh, sliced away on the offside. It'll clear Joe Clark and run away towards the Smith Cooper stand for four. So an indifferent salt six. Butler on strike again. He's going to pull this away for four. Just too short from Samit and Butler doesn't miss the opportunity to uh, pull this away it's now hope to see him back soon next one is just scooped down the leg side beautifully played by Butler textbook Butler shot and away not comfortable getting up and comes Brooks bowls all oh, that's so so lucky for Salt he's got four runs he's snicked it through where second slip would be oh me but there we are thanks Mick next one's cut into the offside will be caught it's caught Carter's got a wicket Salt drives into the offside and Stephen Mullaney who spilled Rafford there's a Freedy. It's a ball to Butler, who's on 19. He's got a start. He's lifted this one up in the air. Again, that could have gone straight to the fielder, but it's landed between Mullaney and Montgomery. Stephen Mullaney will chase it down. Nice to set yourself. There's a Freedy. Ball's oh. now, and he's bowled him! Butler goes! A Freedy stands there like the Angel of the North with his arms spread out wide, just inviting the Trent Bridge crowd. A few overs. See what I can do. Here's Carter who got the other wicket. Bowling! Carter gets another one and Croft is gone. Here in his figures. And he's uh, that's now been um, rather ruined as this is hit hard down the ground and high by Mitchell. One bounce four into the dark. Oh, I've just got my phone back. <laughs> uh, this is uh, hammered uh, down the ground. Actually, there was a ball left. I thought uh, that was the end of the over, yeah. but... Uh, they bowled another one, and it's uh, costly for the pavilion end. And runs in, and this is uh, hit through the covers. Nice cover drive from Livingston, and actually it's got enough on it. Alex Hales couldn't get there. Mitchell this time. Uh, Mitchell has a big swing at this. Uh, Afridi is the furthest man back, but he's going to have to be further back than that, because that's gone all the way into the concrete. And it's the same treatment again from Mitchell. And again, Afridi looks as if he's interested, but again, it's too high. Not quite as big this time, a little bit. Oh, there's a fortunate outside edge that's going to run away towards the pavilion fence here they're going to be um, a few runs shy of 200 and I think Knotts would accept that but uh, Patel bowls sliced away and a wicket for Patel he's got Daryl Mitchell who's gone for 31 he just tried to cut this away and has hit it straight to backward point and Matt Carter takes a fairly simple the youngsters in the ground as Carter bowls and here comes Hartley and he slammed this straight back just to the onside of straight past Carter for four lovely shot Carter and again to Hartley and again he goes and he's been bowled it's always likely to happen somebody out there just bumped up the order as a little bit of a pinch hitter and he's swished across the line there and has lost his leg thinking that he's uh, he's been around for a while but he will be well placed to have a bit of a go over the last few overs and uh, this one is uh, and he's down the pitch to this one and that's gone very high it's a steepling one Hales underneath it takes the catch and that's another massive moment Harrison gets and here's Harrison to continue this is swiped up in the air by Wood Shaheen Afridi running in takes the catch slips as he does so but a safe pair of hands and it's a first ball up 24 for 7 four overs to come as this one is re and he edged De Grandom is gone for three Brooks gets his wicket as he edges behind to Tom Moores. And it is another wicket. As, uh, oh, he's clean bowled. Afridi is in. 
and Bell trying to sweep the freebie with the trademark now stands there with his arms aloft and apart and he's got another wicket Bell has no answer and here is Shaheen Afridi once more and Blatherwick has edged this through uh, beyond the uh, in comes Brooks again scoop shot and it's deflected straight to Samit Patel at third inside the circle Patel takes the catch and the innings is over Luke Wood, the former Notts man, who's going to open the bowling for Lancashire from the pavilion end. And this is uh, turned away on the offside for four through backward point. By Here's Wood. He's back in at slip now. And uh, Hales plays this up to extra cover. Phil Salt fields and there's... Isn't it? Here's De Grand on then. And that's leg side. And that's tucked away for six by Joe Clark. Well, you don't bowl there. Outside legs. Here's De Grand on. And this is hammered away by Clark over that ring of fielders on the offside and over extra cover. Random to Clark and he's uh, got some air in this and it goes over uh, long off for a one bounce four. One of those where last night here's Wood into Hales again and he's pitched this one short and Hales with a flat bat swats it over point for four this Hartley and this is uh, lofted over the inner ring of fielders on the offside for four this Hartley again in two Clark who's uh, turned him around the corner this time and it's wide of fine leg who's chasing after it and can't get there it was played quite uppishly by Clark but down below us Hartley in again and this one is uh, played through a lovely gap for four in between extra cover and mid off to come into bowl to Clark and Clark heaves him over the offside for six just into the uh, William Clark stand here's Mitchell into Hales Hales cutting hard and gets four to a widish third man backward point area Mitchell into Hales pulls him away and uh, the man at mid wicket's not going to get there first bounce it was a despairing dive from Rob Jones to try and pull it out. There's Blatherwick in again to Clark. Can't get bat on ball and now he does. It's gone straight up in the air. Should be a court and bowl chance for Blatherwick who's underneath it and catches it. Jack Blatherwick has his first wicket in T20 cricket and it's Clark. In the match at Old Trafford, Blatherwick wasn't playing in that and Blatherwick is hit away for four by Colin Munro. That's been... A little bit of a feature that earlier in the day, all out for 145 as uh, Munro will find the space on the leg side and will beat the dive of Luke Wood on the fence. Good effort from uh, the former Knotts man. Couldn't get there though, and a bound. Have to admit, good signing. This is chipped by Hales tamely to Livingston at mid off, and Blatherwick's got two. He's got both Knotts openers, first Clark, and now Hales, who's out for 17. Livingston bowls and he's going to get a wicket here as Munro squared up gets a leading edge out into the offside and that's a tame tame end and living but no run this next one is played more flourishingly by Samit Patel a couple of paces down the pitch to Livingston and crashes him through the covers for four in control of their own destiny here Knotts but Samit Patel has come dancing down the pitch and he's bowled Two or three paces from Samit Patel, trying to knock Hartley out the ground. Missed it, and is stumps. Towards the end of the first innings, and here's Mitchell to Moores, and that's crushed away through mid-wicket. That'll be four. That's the shot Moores has been looking for yeah. throughout the course of the over. And eventually, uh, in comes Mitchell again, and this is uh, banged in short, and there's a hook which gets a top edge from Moores and races away to former teammate Tom Moores who cuts this away for four goes down and hugs his skipper Stephen Mullaney and Knotts have got the victory they've beaten Lancashire by five wickets and will go 